let, const, and where. These are the three keywords that we use to declare variables in JavaScript. And out of these three, where is really the thing of past now? So we just use let and const keyword to declare the variables. Welcome to the day two of learning JavaScript from scratch. So variables are just like the containers where we can store some value. And this is how we create variables in JavaScript. Let, and suppose we want to store the age. So age, that is going to be the name of the variable. And here we can store any number. And instead of this number, we can store any kind of data type. Suppose now we want to store some name. So name is going to be of type string. That is a kind of data type. And we always write a string inside two quotes. And now here I can write my name. So this name variable is storing the string data type. And this age variable is storing the number data type. Now earlier, as I've already told you that we can use the const to declare the variables as well. So here in age, we can later change the age. Okay, so let's make it 24. We are allowed to do this when we have declared the variables with the help of let keyword. But if we declare the variable with the help of this const keyword, suppose the value of pi 3.14, then if we try to change this value again, our code will give us error. So whatever the variables which are declared with the help of const keyword, they are not allowed to change. And in JavaScript, we can use this console.log to print the values inside the console. Suppose we want to print the value of pi. And after that, we want to print the value of name. Let's save this. And if we try to run this code, then we can see the output inside the console. So here we have the output.